on the game, so uh, if not, uh, it will be a tough. It will be a tough game anyway. But uh, I think we have a good chance, uh, and I hope uh, that the players really are prepared tomorrow. <laughs> I think it's going to be a very close game. Uh, we're ready for it, uh, prepared both mentally and physically. So I think it's going to be an interesting game to watch, and I um, hopefully we're going to have a good game for us. Uh, probably a lot of revenge, but uh, I think every game you play lives its own life somehow. So you need to come into the game mentally in the right uh, preparation. You need to be there both mentally and physically. And uh, I think uh, if we are preparing in the right way before, We'll be there from minute one to minute 90 or 120 or 125. Hopefully we're going to win. <laughs> All right. So uh, the coach and his assistants and, you know, uh, having, having their say on that game. So you listen to both. Uh, <laughs> I've declared your doubts, your fears ahead of this semi-final uh, I think, clash. I think I'm entitled to my <laughs> to my. Yeah, to yeah, my I fears. know. Absolutely. Yeah, of course, um, they got to come out and sound optimistic of course. going into the game. You can't be sounding defeated already before mm -hmm. before a game. I think that's what the coaches are doing. And that's why I said even some of the ladies that I've been speaking to are also doing the same thing. Yes, we are confident. Yes, we know it's Cameroon. Um, they're very stubborn. Um, at this point in time, in fact, one of the ladies told me, we are always ready for war mm. when it comes to Cameroon. When it comes to playing Cameroon, so hopefully um, the whole, the whole, how I been now, the entire ambience so everything will just go in their favor and then get a win. But I think on paper, if you want me to do the analysis on paper, Nigeria has. Uh, I mean, there's no need to be worried. They've That's got players right. that can come out on any good day. And the team, collect Cameroon. The team collectively, the team collectively as well. Experience. They've been playing together for years. Yes, uh, forget the uh, no, uh, the inactivity, you know, for a while and all of that. But they, they understand each other. Mm. They talk to each other well. They, they were able to bounce back from that blip against South Africa. And then I, I feel, as a, as a pundit, going into this game, Nigeria can beat Cameroon. But my own personal fears, why didn't you have a feel of the tough? Mm. Cameroon has an advantage. They've been playing in Accra and all of that. It's going to be tough, mm. but I'm not going to call it. I'll just sit on the on the fence on this one. Interesting. It's always okay. safe to sit on the fence. Uh, let's we need to go on a, on a break now. Uh, when we come back, we'll continue our, our preview to that match. You get to listen to uh, more Falcons uh, players uh, and you know their their pre-match thoughts ahead of the match against Cameroon. <laughs> Nigeria should just wait for the cup. We're not just playing Cameroon, we're going to the finals. So they should just sit back there and wait for the cup. Like each and every one of us, we want to do good. We, do, we want to make ourselves proud, our country proud. We want to do it again and again and again against Cameroon. You guys should expect, um, expect nothing less than victory from us because for us, the players and the entire Nigeria, this is not just a semi-final. It's also um, a qualification to the World Cup. So we are going there all out with everything we have, nothing left. And then we'll make sure that um, we get the tickets, first of all, to the World Cup, and then before we talk about the finals. And then Nigerians, you guys should keep supporting us, believe in us, keep praying for us. I'm going to make you guys proud. I said the uh, Super Bowl cons, uh, defender Austin Achi O'Hale. You also got to listen to uh, midfielder Ngozi Okobi, both confident uh, uh, that Nigeria will defeat uh, Cameroon uh, later today. Um, Rotimi, uh, let's talk about the players. Uh, let's talk about something that has reared its head mm -hmm. uh, you know, at this competition uh, after that loss against South Africa. You know, there were talks of this kind of talk we normally used to when it comes to the Super Eagles. Uh, remember those signs of tired legs? That popped up again now, and a uh, few people saying the Falcons are old and uh, uh, it's time to face them out and bring young players it was dividing in. Dividing opinion. Yeah, it was, it, it was some, out there. Some say it, it was an outrageous claim, okay. some say it was true. And every side seems to have facts to balance <laughs> whatever they're saying. So, where, where do you stand? Where do you stand? I think it's a bit unfair using such words to describe a team. Mm. Um, it's real football, not the not same as the men's. Um, if you've been following it for a while, 
even if you if you monitor teams like USA, where you have the, the likes of go Miami, on and on and on. they go on and on. Sweden, I mean, I'll talk about the Scandinavians generally. The Norway, the Norwegians, the Swedish Swiss. team. Uh, you've Thanks. got uh, even even the Canadians. Uh, up until they hosted the World Cup in 2015, they still had uh, their veteran, this veteran that it's even the Brazilians. I mean, I've, 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 Mata is still playing for that team. Since I was a kid. Thank you very yeah, much. So, uh, it's, I think it's, it's a bit weird when we come up with uh, claims like that. The game against South Africa, and I, I think I said it before, I'm going to say it again, we were complacent. It wasn't the case of tired legs or old, or old women. We were just complacent in that game, mm. and then we got punished, right. and we deservedly lost the game. That's it. Yeah, but can you can you excuse um, some of those people? Their fans are uh, probably because uh, that was on the back of a loss. Uh, they got overly emotions. That's, got that's in. Yeah, I mean, that's, I just said, yeah, you yeah. can you can excuse them. What the fans yeah, you can excuse them. Oh, uh, we are disappointed. You shouldn't have gone on to lose to mm. a youthful South, South African side. Okay. but you a youthful South African side that had a program. That they've been on that program for about two, th two three years. So what are we saying? Mm. So it's not about tired legs or facing some women out. You know, actually, written, listening to you, you have not really answered my question. What's your question? There's a label. Now, you said it's not fair. Yeah, I get your point. But okay. can we say this team is old? That's where I'm really going. Can we say so? Because the argument is, oh, they're not old. You know, a lot of young players have made this a progression. This team is not old. Let me just answer you. Yeah, so straight away. Yeah, I've been saying it. The team is not old. Okay. okay. You can point clear. one or two that, that that's, okay, you that's are nearing clear. probably leaving the national team and then focus on your well, they, club well, career and well, all that. But the team generally is not hold. On the average. On the average. All right, interesting. So that's our rotomy is our take there. The Super Falcons are still good to go and and uh, can represent Nigeria uh, for more years to come. Let's get to listen to the take of the captain. Uh, Onome, uh, no, no, Onome AB, yes, uh, she was asked uh, uh, the same question at yesterday's press. Uh, yeah, I, I believe this is a senior team, it's a senior national team, it's not um, age category. We have under 17, we have under 19, and under 20. If you want uh, for young players, you can go watch uh, under 17 games, under 20 games. But as far as I'm concerned, this is a women's national team. You can have a 40-year-old playing. It's, it's, I, I, I think if she, if she deserves to be in the team, if she's fit to be in the team, she can play. So when you're talking about um, age, whatever, please you can go to under 20 and under 17, you get them there. Thank you. That's it there. Uh, Onome AB dismissing uh, talks of uh, the Super Falcons are being too old to play for Nigeria. And you see, she received a round of applause uh, as well, too. It didn't end there, though. It didn't end there. It didn't end there. I agree. People are still on social media. Like, you shouldn't have been able to answer, you give know. such a, a response. And I think blah, the question blah, blah. wasn't directed to her. I think it was. No, the, 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 the question was. Yeah, but she's answering to, very well. Yeah, yeah. I've not seen no, anything. The question wrong. was what she said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think she was trying to build. Uh, I think not was build. Uh, not, I mean, and, if you are talking about a whole play, I'm amazing that. I think she's like 30 or 31. <laughs> so you probably would be referring to her as an old player. But, if but, you can pick uh, 20, a 21 year old, a 19 year old, a 22 year old into the national team. So yeah, probably that got they're, to they're her and then she had to respond. There's some of the ladies are over 30 or Dega and all these other girls and stuff. But from what she said, this is not a uh, not age grade. If you want to see age grade, it's not age grade competition. It's not age grade competition. If you're good enough, if you're you good play. enough to be in the team, it doesn't really matter. Don't play for the team. The, 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 the age shouldn't become an issue. If you're At good, all. If you're good, you're good. If you're 20, you're good, you're good. If you're 20, if you're not good, do we good. do we frown at national teams that have a 16 year old going to a World Cup, and in that same squad you have a 35 year old who is near retirement? As long as you're so, so good. So why is, you're why good. Is, so why, why it shouldn't be an issue. Because the end uh, well, just said it didn't end there. Now I thought that would have been the end of it. <laughs> it didn't end there. It didn't end there. What happened after? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I said, divided opinion and people. I don't have an opinion actually. Yeah. I think she gave a very smart answer, and I, I think we should just let let it. Uh, the, if, if you want to criticize the team for not playing well, let's go down. Yeah, stop, stop focus on stop that talking not about playing age. well. Mm. Stuff. I, I don't think it was right, and I think yeah, it, we are on the same page. I, right. I think yeah. it got. I think it got to her. Yeah, it was obvious. It, it, it got to her. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the Super Falcons are taking on uh, Cameroon today. Uh, let's not forget, there's another semi-final uh, match uh, between South Africa and 
Mali. That's going to be after the Nigeria uh, versus Cameroon game. The, that's a confirmation uh, of the fixtures. And the two winners will face off on Saturday in the championship decider while the two losers will play that match that no one really wants to play. Mm -hmm. But this time around, there's something at stake. So everyone wants to play. To get to France. Exactly. So hopefully Nigeria will be playing on Saturday. And not All on right. Friday. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it for, for the outcome. We'll come back with... Now, uh, with the updates uh, tomorrow, let's talk about the year for Champions League now. March day five is back after uh, a few weeks break, and uh, some very interesting fixtures uh, to look forward to uh, tonight. Uh, Manchester United, we talked about uh, them being in action against the uh, young boys. Let's start from Group E, though. Uh, AK Athens will take on Ajax and Bayern Munich uh, will take on Benfica. Bayern Munich uh, on the back of that uh, disappointing draw against uh, Fortuna Dusseldorf uh, in the German Bundesliga. Let's move over to Group F where we have another German side, Offenheim, taking on Shakhtar Donetsk. Lyon will take on Manchester City. Remember this game ended uh, in a win for Lyon, surprisingly in the first leg, mm -hmm. so uh, City will get the chance to avenge that loss. Group G, we have CSK Moscow taking on Victoria Pleasant, while AS Roma will host Real Madrid at Stadio Olimpico, while in Group H, where uh, you have Juve taking on Valencia, while Manchester United will take on Young Boys of Switzerland. Uh, let's start with that one. Um, me. Juventus were United. running away, uh, but uh, I think Manchester United halted them. But under 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 everybody's um, focus now is Josie and his team. And I mean, what did he 